Welcome to day two of Me, Myself, and I. I am back in my walk-in closet slash studio because I really need to get this video up today and I don't have the time to find a different perfect shot. So I am back behind my green screen, but I promise that not every Me, Myself, and I video will be in front of the green screen. I just finished refilming the song that pairs with this video, which goes with the word for the day, which is stars, stars. When you wish upon a star. I thought about singing that one, but the one that pairs with this video is one, I wouldn't say it means more to me than any Disney song, but it's one that does mean a lot to me. I discovered it about a year ago. It's called I'm a Star by Scott Allen. It's been sung by so many amazing musical theater women. So I chose that song for this video because I actually originally discovered it through TikTok, the amazing world of TikTok. It was listed as songs that are not as heard of for good audition songs. I don't remember if I was looking up audition songs or if it just happened to go on my For You page, but regardless, I found it. I said this is exactly how I feel. I feel like this song can apply to all of us. It's not just for musical theater. It's not just to be on stage. Whatever your stage is, whatever you are really good at, that's your stage. I feel like this can apply to everyone. If we're not already going for what we're really good at, we feel like we're stuck where we are. We're taught in our everyday lives, don't show yourself, don't show yourself. Oh, you seem really stuck up if you show yourself like that. To hype yourself up, this song is perfect. Whatever capacity that it's in, you can be a star. You can hype yourself up saying, yeah, I am good at what I do, or I will be a star. I am working at what I want to do. And if you're not doing it right now, you can still do it. You can, it's never too late. For example, I have an uncle who is in his 70s and did not start painting until he was in his 70s, maybe, or maybe late 60s, about 10 years ago, I wanna say. He is phenomenal. He is so talented. It's never too late to get started on what you wanna do, even if it's just for you. I like to say life is about the people that you love and the things that you love to do. And ideally, those two would go hand in hand doing the things you love to do with the people that you love to do them with, whether that's new people, old people, whatever. I realize this song doesn't match up to any show, but I feel like it can match up to the show of each of one of our lives especially if you relate to wanting to be in musical theater because it's the most directly applicable, but apply it to your life. When I first heard this song, I think I was driving home from work when I looked it up. I cannot tell you how inspiring it was. I never heard of anyone sing a song in a way where it's genuine expression, let me show myself proving. And I realize I'm going to come off as really repetitive because my last like five videos are talking about this is what I want to do. I'm going to do it. Ah, editing Cassandra is so sick of hearing. I want to do musical theater. I want to do musical theater. I want to do musical theater. But that's literally my inner monologue every single day. So I'm going to try to not come off as repetitive. I don't want to make every single video about this is what I want to do. Because if you're watching the series or you know me personally, you already know that. You already know that that's what I want to do. And you're going to be like, okay, we get it. We get it. We get it. We get it. Yes. Okay. Okay. Glad you get it. Glad you get it. I probably say it more for myself than anything else. The people that hype up other people the most are usually the ones that need to hear it the most themselves too. To get on a subject related with stars, but that you wouldn't necessarily think is directly applicable, I'm going to talk a little bit about astrology. I've loved astrology for about 10 years, over 10 years. I am no astrologer, but I watch a lot of astrologers. I am known as the one in my friend group that if you don't know your birth chart, you don't know your big three, you don't know your Venus, you don't know whatever, I'll say, okay, just give me your information and I will look it up for you and I'll tell you what it means to the best of my ability. I will send it to you, I will screenshot the thing to you and tell you exactly what placements you have and say, if you wanna know more, just type them in to the YouTubes, the TikToks. I've made a study of my chart and I'm still learning every day, but 
I thought I would share my biggest placements with you. My big three are Virgo Rising, Aries Sun, and Virgo Moon. The number one thing that I like to look at when I look into gift giving for people is their Venus sign. And I recently did this for Christmas. I looked up to the best of my ability everyone's Venus sign and tried to buy them gifts based on that. My Venus is in Pisces, so it makes a lot of sense of how I know the best way to get people the best gifts because Venus is exalted in Pisces, which basically means that it's the favorite place for Venus to be in all of the zodiac. It's like been described as its favorite vacation spot because Pisces is the last sign of the zodiac, which means that it is the most evolved sign of the zodiac. Pisces people are really good at melding, meshing with other people, really understanding and like they somehow have a way of getting into your skin and feeling how you feel. You'll notice that a lot of them are empaths. The reason why it's so good at that is because Venus is all about love. It's about other things, but it's the known as the planet of love, right? So if Venus is the most evolved sign, what is the most evolved form of love? Taking another person as a part of yourself. And Venus in Pisces is excellent at this. So not to hype up my own Venus sign, but it, it's already hyped. So I can't hype it anymore. Oh, and uh, my Mercury is in Aries, so that's why I'm more like in your face but it's also in the eighth house, which is ruled by Scorpio. So it's more like deep and, but also fast. If you saw the uncut version of my talking videos, you would see a lot of stopping, starting. Like that. <laughs> it would be really aggravating for you, but thanks to editing Cassie, we don't have that. I won't list the signs and what to get each of them for gifts because there's a lot of videos out there that do it better than I am and like I said I'm not an astrologer I just like to express how the word stars relates to astrology because if you somehow don't know um, astrology relates to certain constellations in the stars there's actually an app that my sister showed me where you can point your phone at the sky at night or maybe even during the day too but it will show you what constellations are in the sky at the time and then you will understand why oh the sun's in right what is it right now the sun's in taurus right now because it's literally going through the constellation of taurus duh so to wrap up this video i'm a star please go out and be whatever star that you want to be and number two look at your astrology I will see you tomorrow in day three of Maisical May and me, myself, and I. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye! I keeps watering and so sometimes my makeup will just do this. And I just, I'm glad I filmed my other video already. Mmm.